you ever have a day where you're like, man, it's not going according to plan? Well, that's this day. Let me explain why. So first of all, I know this is a first world problem, but after making some uh, rookie mistakes um, on building out this system, which I'll go over here in a second, um, at the end of the day, I went to go ahead and get this water tank all filled up and tested um, for its uh, first camping trip this weekend, just a break-in trip. And guess what? It was leaking. Um, so I think I can fix it. Um, it was a bummer. Like I said, it's a first world problem. Um, caught me off at the end of a bad day. I was frustrated. So I decided to call it a day and work on it today. So wish me luck. I'll fill you in on the other stuff here in a minute. Thanks, guys. All right. Now let's talk about my mistake that I have to fix and why it's just a rookie mistake from lack of experience with the Nalu Cab and another reason why you might want to get it done, everything done by a professional installer. So a new DMOS mount, handle mounts here. I had my ax up here and my shovel. Thought this made a lot of good sense in and out here. You don't use those as much as, as recovery boards. <clears throat> the next step on the other side this is the Expedition Essential Recovery Board System. Holds four. This one holds four uh, Max Tracks, and it opens up, and it they can mount on here. You see it mounted on here all the time. Um, so I had it all lined up yesterday, um, kind of marked what center was on the other side, and I remembered that you know I need to have enough clearance so that the boards clear these handles. So I had to raise it, raise it up a little bit. I made. A pilot hole here and a pilot hole here once I had it marked up um, as a starter because I need to put at least probably at least uh, nine holes in here to secure it uh, good made those holes did the temporary uh, mounting on it and I did raise the pen several times to see but that's about the far as I can raise it with one hand well after I had the two bolts there and I tried to raise it all the way up can you guess what might happen on the other side? If you have one of these and you have an awning, you'll know right away. So the awning would only allow the door to open up here. Um, and I thought about it for a second and like, can I live with that? And the answer is no, obviously. <laughs> I can't. That's our primary side. And I, I didn't even think about it. Um, it's a rookie mistake. So I've already taken those two, luckily I only had two holes in there, I've already taken those two holes and I plugged them, bolt, screw in a bolt, seek a flex in there. I need to take these off and I'm gonna reposition. I don't know if I'm gonna mount them on the other side. I might put them on the back now because now that I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm gonna see if I can't figure out a way to get both the shovel and the ax behind back um, there using those same handle mounts. I don't know if it's gonna fit yet, but I'm gonna try. Um, but after I patch these, another four bolts in there, because this won't work. These won't, this cannot use those same bolt patterns. It needs to line up in this space here. I'll get this mounted. So it was frustrating because I figured that out last night. You know, I was all excited about the shovel and axe. I got this all done. I was like, yes, we're getting ready to go out and do our, our first uh, um, little break-in experience here. Just out of campgrounds. We don't have a toilet yet. And... Um, and I was like, yeah, here we go. I'm going to have the boards and, you know, I can use them to level out or to campground if I need to. Um, and then that happened. And then I decided, well, I'm going to fill my water tank up and get that uh, um, sloshing around tomorrow so I can clean it out and bleach it and get it filled one last time. And then that's when the leak happened. And so it was just kind of spiraled out of control. <laughs> and uh, it is what it is, a first world problem. So next up here, I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. I'm not gonna film all of that because it's kind of boring. Take these off, I'm gonna patch this up. And then if I have enough energy, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can't remount these today. I don't know if I'm gonna put this boards on today or not. I might wait until after this weekend just because it's kind of a nasty day out. It's a little bit cold and I'm tired. Didn't sleep that great. So let's see. We'll take you with on the camping trip though. We'll see how that goes. Bye gang. All right, gang. So Don and I are going out, probably the least prepared we've been. 
<laughs> or an adventure anytime soon because we're taking the Alu Cab out for just a quick break in trip here. Going to a campground because our toilet hasn't arrived yet. We did get a Practice. practicing it. We did get a folding toilet, something simple with a bag system is what we're looking at there. So we're going to go to one of our county campgrounds, which we love to go to before it's actually one of the most beautiful campgrounds around right on the straits. The weather doesn't look great but right now. It's not bad. Um, but the hard part is since we're not adventure ready, we really don't have any stuff in the Alu cab. It's basically just a shell, which is how we go. Typically for us, when we say adventure ready, that means all we have to do is load food, water, and clothing. And we go, so we have our van that way. We have our trailer that way. Uh, Don and I have a pretty good system to where we come home. I, I'd say it takes about a half hour. What do you say? Half hour once we get home to get the van or the trailer back to where it should be. Huh? Put back together? Put yeah. back together. About a half hour, toilet cleaned, everything sanitized to Don's level and packed back in to my level. <laughs> um, so we haven't got that way yet. And the truck, obviously, we have some other stuff going on that we're looking to buy to kind of figure out this system. Um, so we're just kind of scrambling right now to... Why not? Yeah, Easy. it's no big deal. Um, so, but we're going to take you with us um, and kind of show you how it goes. And then we'll kind of report back kind of what we're thinking later on based on this trip. Like how do you kind of see building it out? So here we go. Yeah, let's hope the weather holds off. Yeah. the back so we just got set up here just had some really nice people stop by they were so impressed with the setup <laughs> here and uh you know so our first night in it so we're giving them the best I'm impression we can so much we're the more so much. the more you show it to people the more i'm learning You're, the more yeah so the more <laughs> i show it to her the more, more she's learning the thing that um was we have to keep aware of is how much space we need off of this to get our awning out so you might have saw that we had to move the van uh i'm sorry the van I'm not in the van. We had to move the truck um, over a little bit more, but we did it while it was up so we can get the awning over. We're gonna take a measurement on that and I'll know next time where that is. So, But so far, it's just rocking. It looks like it's probably gonna rain at some point. We'll probably have to retreat under the awning, but not yet. What do you think, babe? Yeah, perfect. I mean, yeah, if it starts to rain, we could just fire pit under there. Fire pit right there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, and check this. Let me show you this place here. Huh? I'm going to take them on a tour. So, if you haven't been to Salt Creek, this is Salt Creek. It's a marine preserve. So down here, 
further away, and we'll probably walk down there. I'll take the camera down there. There's a lot larger area, and if it's low tide, you can walk way out, way, way out, and see all kinds of uh, sea life. It's beautiful. There's the setup, though. Yeah. So I only got the Insta, so sorry if uh, the audio is a little bit off, but check out this. The tide's so low we can actually get to the island. Pretty neat. Hey, there I am.
All right, so Don and I just took a really awesome walk down on the beach. Um, it was low tide here. We actually can get over to the island, which was pretty uh, rare. So we, we took our time and just explored quite a bit. We're just sitting down having a little fire outside. I decided to get the fire going in here. My first time starting it, and it's really neat. And it's just pretty neat, you know? Anyways, there's our view. First night testing it out so far, so good. We're just out here trying to figure things out. Don and I are up here hunkering down. It is wet out there. Got a little, watching some of our favorite channels right now. But check this out. We got the heater on down below. So you can see that water. Oh, there's someone going in. Yeah. Pouring down rain. Let me show you the view though. From the bed. Not bad, not bad. Dawn has the best view though. Uh-huh. Look at that view. Beautiful out there, but wet. Is it warm in there? So here's the deal, we made reservations, or we didn't make reservations here. <laughs> I was like, really? We showed up here, thinking it's um, still first come, first serve, because it's March, what is it? 26th? March 26th, something like that. Mm -hmm. And um, still thinking we were still in uh, shoulder seasons. And no, it's reservation right now, but the place isn't, it's really full. Um, Surprisingly And full. they only have one bathroom open, like one single stall bathroom. Because um, I don't even think there's a caretaker here right now. Yeah, I so the ranger just comes through. So, so that's weird. And anyone else hate like the resident? Like this is why I don't. It's so love confusing. The, like every <laughs> every place is different. This is why we usually go this. So they only, they only have first come first serve between November and January, which yeah. we came once during that time in the van. It was beautiful. The the only time we but try to I go just, to yeah, campgrounds is when it's like. The off season, uh -huh. and you could just show up because otherwise you can't count on it. That's why off road and going out back. It's just so better. competitive, like holy smokes! Yeah, and it's like everyone, has, everyone's eyeball. Everyone like, has when to you have out? dates. When are you here? <laughs> like you know, they have dates of when they're gonna get up at 8 a.m. to check, you know, refresh the thing. I'm like, that's yeah, stressful. Yeah. I mean, you're stressed out eight months before your vacation <laughs> even starts, right? It's way better to be off. I mean, I guess if you are the type that plan way ahead, so if you're planning your camping vacations. A year out and you're getting you know the sites that you reserve and everything and it probably takes all the stress out of it but well the other annoying thing is hard. you come here and people don't show up so they've reserved it they've done all this pre-booking and now the place sits empty so our favorite spot it's actually was featured in sunset magazine the rebels in the other spot is yeah it, it's open just is reserved it, yeah. but totally open because a person never showed up um ironically uh a brand new Rebel is parked in the spot next to it, um, uh -huh. which is their first time out here, and that's funny. Here we are mm -hmm. in the Alley Cab, and there they are in their Rebel. Mm -hmm. um, fun, fun little memories here. Anyways, reservation system, I hate it. Um, <laughs> I, I'd rather be um, just unpredictable and find a spot. I think if you use it a lot, it probably gets easy. Like if that's all you do, and you get pretty dialed in, I'm sure. 
But I don't want to be. But for us, too, we just try to like, oh hey, let's go camping this weekend. But you don't want to be disappointed before you even start. Oh, we didn't get like loop A. We had to get loop B. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. We'll I... make the best of it. You know, that's just that's not funny there. Anyways, tell us what you think in the comments there because that is not fun for us. But what I'm saying is, a lot of people love that, and that's their jam. So I know, I know, <laughs> different. Different strokes for different mm -hmm. folks. That's it. See you later, Salt Creek. <laughs> That's it. Hey, breakout trip. Is that what you call it? Shakeout trip. Shakedown Shake trip. trip. That did it for this trip. So off next now. So no Al Ucab next week. Next week we're back in the van. Van. What are we doing? Going to the coast. Coast with the granddaughter. Happy birthday, Addie. Seven years old. We love you. <laughs> All right, time to get home. See you, um, next, see you next time, and hopefully next time we see you guys on the dirt. Bye, guys. Looks good.